Hi guys, welcome to House of Hair UK. Hope everyone is safe and well. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. On this channel, we show you all things hair extensions and we showcase our hair extension transformation from our West London salon. If you've never done a flat pin curl on someone before, in today's video, I'm changing it up and I'm gonna be showing you guys the tools and how I would do a flat pin curl. So the tools that I'm gonna be using is a round barrel curler by the company Hot Tools. Absolutely love this curler. And then I'm gonna be using a hair straightener and those silver hair straighteners are from Babilus Pro. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smooth out the actual client's hair. And in this case, it's actually a dolly because I've come in early to create this video and there's actually no clients in the store. So I'm going to be sectioning out her hair in three different parts. So I'm going to be doing the sides and then I'm going to be working on the back. And the reason why I'm going to section them out into different areas is because I want the front ones to be leaning towards the back and I want the back curls to be going in a downward direction. The main reason why I'm doing this video today is because it's wedding season in the UK and so many customers come in for pin curls. And when you do like the traditional 3D pin curls, which are raised off of your head, when you wake up the following morning, you'll find that the curls are a little bit disheveled and they're not looking as neat and as organized as you'd like them to be. It would have been great if I could have done this video on someone who had more long hair because most of our clients are hair extensions ladies. And I find that pin curls tend to look better when you've got long hair. They can look a little bit old school, maybe like 70s and 80s when someone's got short hair, but I just wanted to demonstrate how you actually actually do a pin curl. So as you can see here, I'm just wrapping it around my finger, but instead of actually making it raised and in a 3D type of look, I'm just pushing it towards the left or the right hand side, smoothing it all out, and then I'm putting two clips in to hold it in place. So I'm showing you guys here how to do it on the actual Hot Tools barrel. And then as I get onto the second row, I'm gonna show you how I would do it with a hair straightener. Not everyone has a hair straightener and not everyone has a curler. So it's really good to know how to do it with both. Here you can see I'm just rolling it around. I'm following the actual size of the barrel. So the curl that the barrel created, that's what I'm following. So as I was doing the first row, I realized that adding a little bit of hairspray or a little bit of hair serum helps to control the actual hair so you don't get as many flyaways. Now, when you're gonna use hairspray, you definitely wanna go from a distance. If you go too close, you make the actual hair quite sticky. And then when you try to remove the actual hot tool, parts of the hair will actually stick to the hot tool and it will become quite frizzy. So when you're spraying hairspray, you wanna do it from a distance. If you're gonna use a little bit of hair serum, just be mindful to use a little hair serum because the hair serum will become heavy and it will make the curls drop out. So this is my way of kind of like curling my hands. I'm rotating my left hand and I'm guiding the actual curler with my right hand. So I just keep rotating. I'm not squeezing it too tight. If you squeeze it too tight, you actually can't rotate. It almost gets stuck. So you wanna lightly press those hair straighteners on the hair, rotate your hand and move your hand in a downward direction until you get to the end of the hair and then you would have created a curl. I changed the angle of the camera so you guys can see how I actually do the crown area. Now let's imagine that this lady has got hair extensions in because that's what we specialize in and that's what most of our clients like. When it comes to doing the actual top of the hair, I'm gonna use some hair serum and I'm gonna use hairspray because you wanna tame and you wanna blend in the client's natural hair with those hair extensions. You don't wanna create this curl and then the client takes the pins out the following morning and all you can see is their natural hair sticking up. So you almost wanna seal the two of them together. And this often can be difficult with hair extensions, but by adding some serum and by adding hairspray, you're gonna be able to control the ends of the client's hair. I'll keep it real Only till you've had your fill 
Okay, so let's get into the sides. Now, I definitely feel like if this lady had longer hair, you would have seen a better result with the curls on the side. But I'm going to do them at a slight angle as opposed to doing them in a straight down direction. I want the curls to fall away from the face so it gives you kind of that bang look at the front. So what I'm doing is I'm sectioning it from the ear and I'm doing it in a slight triangle or uh, just an angle basically from the actual face. So here you can see it's not in an actual straight line. It's going at an angle. I'm going to split this in two. Actually, no, I didn't split this in two. I just done it in one big curl. And as you can see, I'm curling it and it's naturally created that bounce that I want at the front. And then before it cools down, I'm going to quickly wrap it and pin it. I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed, but my curls at the front, they never seem to match. So I always have to do like a little test and see how I want the actual curl to fall and then figure it out in my head and then create the actual curl. So that's what you just saw me doing there. So once I've pinned up everything, I'm just gonna add some more hairspray to it. Obviously this lady is not gonna be sleeping on it or this doll is not gonna be sleeping on it. So I'm just gonna take it straight down before all the clients decide to come into the salon. And what I'm doing is I'm rubbing some hair serum on my actual hand and this way it avoids the actual frizz. I will most definitely be creating this with an actual client who's got long hair extensions in and um, who wants to actually have a flat pin curl because I feel like if the person had longer hair, you wouldn't get that bounce around the neck you would get kind of a bounce all throughout it. Now I'm using a comb to actually detangle or to make the curls a little bit more uniformed. And I would definitely recommend doing this using a curl or a brush. It avoids the frizz, as you can see at the end here. If you just take them out, all the curls are not gonna be uniforms. They're not gonna be smoothed out together. So using a comb or a brush really helps with that. But this is the look that I was going for around the face. I just wish that she had more curls kind of around the shoulder area. And I wish that she had longer hair, but this is definitely the curl that I was going for around the face and she's definitely got a bridally type of look if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and definitely follow for more thanks for watching